Oh, hey guys, what's really going on here in the friggin' hood? Well, today is just another day here in paradise. It's friggin' warm out. It's like, I don't even know where my phone ran off to. Oh yeah, I left it in the other room. I was using it as an alarm clock, but I got woken up by the mailman who was dropping off more stuff that I ordered. And, uh, oh, ignore the noises in the background. Oh, you want to see something really awesome? I forgot that this laptop can do this. So right now I got this laptop set up on this TV and I forgot that it came with this remote control. And you can totally pause, you know, volume up and down. So I leave this thing sitting on the bed and this literally slides right into the side here. Just boom, done. You need it back, press this button, press it again. Shits out the remote. How freaking awesome is that? I forgot that this laptop had this. Very, very cool feature. You know? But uh, here's my phone, so that's what I needed. But uh, yeah, just been uh, using that laptop to watch TV at night and uh, while I sleep. But yeah, the mail dick showed up, woke me up at noon. And uh, reason being, I know you guys don't like the vaping stuff, but I'm going to show you what I got. Finally got myself the Russian 91%. Uh, see, 91%. Pretty good atomizer. Uh, I got it running really low right now. I got it running at 1.7 ohm coil, 9 watts, and it's a great vape. Plus, I got all this stuff yesterday. I showed you guys that. All the VIP. So, I've been running some VIP Port Renfrew in it. That's Pug One's crack, as I like to call it. It's his favorite. And um, yeah, it's been pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So, you know, Bloke talked about them, all the guys on the vaping forums talked about them. And I I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll get one, give it a try. I found a great deal on eBay. It was like 30 bucks. About the same price as it is over on Fast Tech. Bought into it. And uh, I'm super happy that I did. That's all I gotta say, because it's awesome. Also, I sold the MacBook Air. I'm getting rid of it. I don't need it. It's pretty much useless to me. Probably saying, really? How can it be useless? What's wrong with it? Nothing wrong with it. I just don't use it, so I don't need to have it. So I'm gonna reformat that, get it all installed up to Mavericks and all that, and then uh, go from there. And then uh, once that's all said and done, I'm also selling the Truggy, like I mentioned in the previous video, except for this time around, I got somebody who's interested in buying it, and we're already talking about it on uh, through emails and stuff. I'm throwing in the Venom Charger, yup, getting rid of the Venom Charger, and all the shit that's in here which goes with it, you know, batteries and the new suspension upgrade and these metal bits that go somewhere in the truck, I don't know where they go. I never got around to installing it, I couldn't be bothered. But yeah, everything here, this is all going, you know, this is a pretty decent charger, I liked it, but, you know. It's only good for charging the truck, so frig it, get rid of it and let whoever buys the truck take it. And the truck's, well, it's dusty because it's just been sitting there doing nothing. But she's, uh, you know, pretty damn good condition. Like, like I showed you guys here, like if you look at the skid plate, look, look at the skid plate. Barely any wear and tear onto it. Like, I've seen some of these, I thought that was pretty bad. And then when I showed Manoli, or when I showed Capus the freaking truck, he's like, holy shit, dude. You know, I'm, I put it up for 300 bucks on Kijiji. Whoever pays that takes it all. 300 bucks firms, you know, 300 bucks firms. Whoever takes it, takes it. And if nobody takes it, then nobody takes it. I just put it up for that, and we'll see if anybody bites. And, uh go from there but right now I'm gonna grab a coffee because I kind of need one and then uh, yeah so some people are like why why are you selling everything why are you selling the MacBook just selling, selling this and selling that and it's like really you gonna do it <laughs> yeah you are like a fucking spider-man over there eh? freaking cat but uh, yeah, people were wondering why I'm selling everything because I posted on Facebook last night that I'm selling the MacBook. And honestly, since I got the MacBook, I think I fired it up once. Dicked around with it for a bit, went, eh. Mac OS is not for me. Like, when I first started off the vlogging, yeah, I used the MacBook and iMovie to edit my videos. 
but oh yeah I forgot to put them in his crate each. I've been doing that now I've been uh, locking him in his crate to eat so that the cat doesn't eat his food because I read online that if the cat eats his food she can get really sick and die but uh, any hoozle um, I didn't even remember. oh yeah uh, I used the MacBook I was gonna use the MacBook to edit the vlog but that thing's too gutless it's just takes too long to, to crap out a video this is the problem I have with the cat what are you doing? Get out from in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out from in there. Enough. Frank sakes. You're stupid a lot of the times. But, uh, no, like, uh, it was way too slow. Like, I, I did a 10 minute test video and then wanted to render to show Pug One how to render with the new iMovie. The friggin' 10 minute movie took two hours to render, and I was like, holy shit. Like on my, well, it is a Core 2 Duo 1.86 or some odd number gigahertz, uh, 2 gigs of RAM, but it's got the 128 gig SSD and it's got that GeForce video card, so you'd think it'd be a little bit quicker in the old white book, but not so much. And, you know, with uh, Sony Vegas, I can just do a lot more different goofy editing styles and and uh, you know, I had some more little, little things here and there. And I don't know. I find I have more more freedom with it. That and I have, you know, the Acer laptop back there, my old Acer i5, the new Dell i7. I got all these different laptops that I don't need a Mac, you know. So might as well get rid of it. Might as well just get rid of it. Get the money for it. Put the money towards something else, like going to blokes or whatever, or, or, or bills, or pay down something, or whatever, you know, just get rid of another another debt, and, and, and carry on with life, or save it for a rainy day, or whatever, you know, put it towards the bathroom fund, or whatever I want to do. So, get rid of that, get rid of the, uh, the Truggy, because I'm never going to use it. Literally, I used it twice since I bought it biggest waste of money ever was getting into RC. I regret it and I learned my lesson. So getting rid of all that nonsense and then uh, just have my own shit to deal with, you know? And go from there. Oh Jesus, how do you drink this coffee? Friggin 7 degrees out right now but it says it feels like 2. I guess the wind's cold. And this is what they're calling for all week. Look at that. We're going to get, oh I thought that was a minus, I was going to laugh, minus one centimeter of snow. So it's going to snow and it's going to melt and take out other snow. That'd be hilarious if that was the case. But yeah, it's going to like, uh, this evening it's going to be like snaining as I like to call it, snow raining. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be good, it's going to be good. It's going to snain, snow rain. Snaining, 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 snaining. So I've been talking in the past about the white tractor and just letting Rex, uh, like letting, giving it to Rex or whatever. He's got some plans for it, so only problem is we can't get it out of the garage right now because of the state of the driveway and the fact, well the garage door is probably unthawed now, I can pull it out, but uh, fuck she's wet in there. <laughs> There's like a good foot and a half, not a foot and a half, that's too much. About three to four inches of water in the garage right now, which is kind of harsh. So I told him, I said, well, once all the snow melts and all that and I can get the car out of the way and get shit out of the garage because I want to get the barbecue out of there, get the uh, mowers out of there. He can come over with his truck, back it up to the garage. We can grab his uh, ATV ramp and just push the white right into the back of the truck and he can take it home. He's got a nice YouTube project lined up for it. Uh, not exactly sure. What, like he's, he's got some ideas, didn't really give me the whole specifics. He just said when he's done, it's going to be awesome. That's all he told me. So by all means, he has time to spin wrenches on it and dick around with it. Fuck have at her, bud. I don't have the time for that nonsense. Give her. Take it, bring it home, build it up, race the shit out of it, break it, rebuild it, do whatever you want to do. I don't have time for that. So it'll be out of the garage, it'll give me that corner back, and you know, I can always put the romper there, or the blower there, or the push mower there, or some motorbike there, something there, or build shelves there so I have more storage for shit on the floor. You know, wh whatever I want to do, uh, that'll give me that space to do it, which will be all right. Because right now all it is is just a busted ass mower sitting there looking like an idiot. And all I need is a crawler. So, and I got one. I got the Dynamark. I'd like to get better tires for it though, to be honest. 
Like right now I got those, uh, Rex called them turf savers. Basically so you can roll on your lawn without ripping up your lawn. I want to get the kind of tires that are the opposite of turf savers. You know, like turf molesters, if they're, that's what they're called. Basically that they bite into the ground and give you like good freaking launch. I gotta see what I can find for that tractor. Like it's got a 10 inch rim onto it, I think. And uh, I gotta see what is available on the market for that. <sighs> and for that matter, where I can buy it. Because I have no idea where I can buy anything like that. But yeah, that'll be some more hunting and, and finding and searching and seeking and all that nonsense. And I do say nonsense a lot because lately it's just been a bunch of nonsense. But uh, yeah, because the summer, like I said, I wanna do the gas pedal modification. Rex told me if I need a hand, he'll come over and uh, show me how to run the lines and all that. It looks pretty simple, but uh, he's already done his, so he can tell me basically the way to do mine. And then I can have a throttle pedal on there, because as I mentioned in the past a couple times, but the, uh, the lever throttle, you push it all the way up, and I guess the vibration from the engine causes the lever to slowly wiggle its way back down to the halfway point, at which point the uh, tractor just doesn't idle high enough and get you going anywhere. So what I'd like to do is get rid of that and um, go with a gas pedal. I was also thinking of saying fuck the steering wheel and putting handlebars onto it like a like a motorbike and putting a gang, 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 you know a little twist throttle. But um, no, I think a gas pedal will be better. Only reason why I was thinking twist throttle is then I got my feet free so that if I'm doing something stupid and the tractor's about to tip, I can drop my foot and push it back up, you know, keep it from rolling over onto myself. And that way there I got my, my feet free and my hands free and, well, my hands will be driving the damn thing. I was thinking about that modification, but, ah, whatever. I won't have to worry about a catwalking if I have a gas pedal, because the problem with, like, the reason why I bent the, uh, the son of a bitch last time was I freaking catwalked her, lost, and obviously front end's off the ground. You can turn the wheel, you're not steering anywhere. I steered the wheel, and by the time the front end touched the ground, it was too late. I hit a tree and just chevied the front end. Yep, Chevy'd it like a boss. So, uh, because of that, uh, yeah, with the through gas pedal, you know, you disengage the clutch and then start hitting the gas, feathering the gas to get it up and running. I think that'll be a pretty good idea and it'll hopefully do the job because we want to get back out there this year and, and play some more and, 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 and shit. But I'd also like to build something on there that I can carry around, like a little, little jerry can of gas. So I have some spare fuel in case the tank runs out or you never know like when you're out there also some tools unlike last year you know maybe some vice grips or um, uh, a toe strap in case one of us gets stuck probably me because I do that you know just whatever just get some shit together and go but um, yeah yeah it's pretty crazy it's gonna be interesting but anyway people I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm just rambling on about what's going on with uh, sales and services a lot of shit's going up for sale and I'm just getting rid of it. I'm starting to clean up the hoard a bit and get rid of junk and springs around the corner. So uh, whenever dad gets his trailer out, I'm going to see if he wants to go half on a dump run. And uh, i got a bunch of shit downstairs that I want to throw into the dump and a bunch of shit in the garage that I want to throw in the dump and just get a bunch of shit out of this house and be done with it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here and hopefully you enjoyed it for what it is. It wasn't much, just basically me telling you what's going for sale. But whatevs. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.